Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Tries Coffee. This is a special video because we just did a little early birthday celebration for me. So I got all this stuff and we're gonna make French press coffee. Now I did try this the last two days, so it's not trying it the first time, but um, I think I perfected it, or not perfected it, but I think I, I've made it enough that I can review it correctly. So let's get into it. I'm gonna use the Tinker MOTW, and I'm going to put 30, yeah, we'll do 30 grams of beans in there. All right, 30 grams. I'm trying to go for a coarse grind. Okay, I think that's pretty coarse. Next, we gotta prep our uh, French press by pouring some water. Hot water in there just to warm things up. All right, so I warmed it up with hot water. I'm gonna dump my grounds in. And then I'm gonna set this thing to zero because I wanna put in like 25 ounces of water. Um, and I think it's like almost one to one. It's like very close between the weight ounces for water and the uh, liquid amount ounces for water. So switch that units, tear. Oh, and I have, to, <clears throat> I have to remember how many that is in pounds and ounces. But yeah, I'm following a little guide that came with it. Um, I'll probably follow a YouTube video in the future too. All right, now we throw that lid on and uh, let it steep. I did f four minutes the first day, and no, I did seven minutes the first day and 12 minutes yesterday. And honestly, 12 came out better. So I think I'm gonna do that again, maybe even 15, I don't know. Now my biggest problem is getting this clean. I need a little brush, but they say to use a damp like towel, like paper towel, but I don't know. It's always sticks in there. All right, that's pretty good. I think the one downside of the French press is that you have to like clean everything immediately or else like the oils of the coffee will like make the grinder taste not as fresh and stuff like that. So you gotta like be all over it. <clears throat> I guess I also forgot to tell you, <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta mix the grounds. So I just use like a little plastic straw and, um, reusable straw and just kind of mix them so they they get in there yeah don't forget to do that part well boy timer's done here we go i'm just gonna press it nice and slowly i saw a video where a guy said you're only supposed to put it a little bit of the way down and not all the way but i'm not gonna do that for you physicists out there you want to press it so it is uh, adiabatically uh, an adiabatic process all right, here we go. We turn in some little spouts right there. And we're gonna pour it into my new mug that's got the, the grip, the grip skiddly. So, let's see. Looks pretty good. And we gotta leave a little bit for my wife, for my, am I right, fellas? Or we're with your wife. And she's, and your girl, and she's, that's how I feel like, I feel like I could do Netflix stand-up, just repeating those lines over and over. Here's what we got, though. Looks pretty good. The one thing I did do notice, there's none of that, like, film, film, oily film stuff at the top, like the K-Pups. So, who would have thought? All right, initial smell test. It's got this warmth. Maybe that's just, like, it's better coffee, but it has this, like, warmth and roast that I associate with, like, like, like roasted carrots, if that makes sense. I mean, it smells just like good coffee, but there's this like hint of like, oh. Okay, anyways, yeah, let's try our roasted carrot coffee. Oh, that's, mm. oh, hang on, let's go for more. Let me get my, let me get my tasting notes figured out. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so really good. Um, I think I should have agitated a little bit more and used a little bit less water 
um, just to make it a little stronger. Maybe just sit it, let it sit longer. Um, still figuring out the process. Um, but tasting notes wise, yeah, it's like it's like that. You can really taste like the roast part. Like again, it tastes like I roasted carrots. Like that's the same sort of like warmth I associate with it. Um, <clears throat> I have been adding creamer to this, but I don't think you really need to. Uh, it's just more of if you like sugary drink. So I'm gonna give this coffee the Tinker Beans. I'm gonna give it a for French press. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten because I made a better cup yesterday. So I'm gonna keep improving, but I think in general, yeah, it's like about eight out of ten. So um, there you are. Now I can start doing beans and bean-based things for my reviews.